Hello traders, Gary Wagner here for Trending Markets just before 1030 in Honolulu, 430 in New York. Markets are just closing up for the week. And as we look at the different markets on Friday, first let's look at our U.S. equities market. Standard & Poor's closing off about 20 points on the day is off of the lows lows being about uh, 2070 closing it seems at 207850 as i said off about 20 on the day you can see we had a dramatic sell off during the day did come back slightly the real tell of the tape i think is our weekly chart let's go ahead and pull that up and a couple of things are absolutely noteworthy and very very apparent we've been talking all week about what i've been calling this glass ceiling but it's literally a point in which we have found resistance Resistance. every time the market has come up it's hit this ceiling this point of resistance and kind of bounce back down from there no different in terms of what we're seeing right now market does come up trades well over 2100 and closes below it at 2078 you can see a whole series of highs that came into the market and time after time week after week of course when we consider the fact let's take a look at the beginning of 2015 that's this line here market comes in it's trading below 2000 so we are above in terms of our yearly gain but you can see it quickly moved towards and created new record highs these are our old record highs of the year and as it came up this is where it formed that real level of resistance that we're getting and really the inability for the market to to barrel through there now pretty strong dramatic drawdown when we look at this on a weekly basis we've seen weeks like this before right in here for example you see a very very strong up week followed by a very very strong down week but other than that that's the only other occurrence we've seen this year since hitting those highs now of course we are flat in this market because my sense right now is that unless we effectively close above these record tops and have this become a floor with support rather than a ceiling with resistance the only thing we can do is have confirmation that we are either going to trade within the range or move lower because the real story behind this market is we can look at these highs here and for the better part of this year look at these lows right in here and so we're trading within this defined range this defined channel almost a sideways market for the better part of the last three to four months in terms of the currencies we do have quiet days in both the euro and the u.s dollar those are the primary markets that we are following waiting for some sort of a setup and a trade we are flat both of those markets right now now the dollar is up but it's up ever so slightly up about 13 points above 97 at 97.24 when we look at the candle for today for example and let's go ahead and blow this up just a little bit we do have a doji like candle very very narrow range look at the high that it made so it was much stronger uh, through the trading day did actually go above the range of yesterday's market and, and this low at 96.88 on our daily chart is going to be our low of the week now we are looking at a weekly chart of the dollar index and what that really shows us more than anything else i think is this level of resistance that we have at 98 we talked about the fact that we had a couple of different levels of resistance let me line this up straight uh 98 was one and it was really based on these couple of tops here again we're looking at a longer term a weekly chart here and then above that we've got this 100 right here and then just slightly above it uh 100 and, and points so we've got to see an effective close really above 98 before i can get bullish again on this market very interesting formation in that since this market has begun to sell off and come off of these real strong highs here at 100 we definitely got some real support that comes in here at 93 and then a higher low at about 94 right in here so we're definitely getting a series of moves in the marketplace in which we are moving up ever so slowly because what we're seeing is week after week we have had a higher low than the prior week except for this one week here they're about 
Well, actually, it is a higher low, but by ever so slightly. In the same way, when we look at this decline, we can say that the overall characteristics of the market was lower lows on a weekly basis. So we can definitely see this downtrend. We can see support in this area, and we can see this move back up. My sense is the dollar will continue on its upward track. Where it will fall to before finding support is something that we'll have to look at over next week. Of course, we're getting somewhat of the opposite, that mirror image that we're looking at. A euro dollar, basically unchanged, 109.78. As you can see, it's off a nominal amount, 0.03%. Very, very small range. On the week, though, we have seen it move up. There's no doubt you've got this piercing line in terms of a candlestick pattern. However, in terms of some of the Western technicals, we are seeing the potential for a cross here, which would indicate a possible sell. This is really still mid-ground to buy ground. It's definitely not oversold. You want to see it at 80 and above. And these, of course, are our stochastic indicators. So traders, lastly, I do want to look at crude oil. That is the one position that we have taken on in trending markets. Of course, we're short gold over at the forecast. Here we are short oil. Oil continues to kind of draw itself down off about 1% yesterday. Today, it is trading off about uh, a little over a half a percent, 33 cents lower per barrel, just flirting with 48, the low 48s at 48.12. Of course, we went short, I believe, at around 95, 96. So we have seen some action within this market. My sense is that we will continue to see oil under pressure. Over the next couple of weeks, my target on this trade remains anywhere between, call it uh, 42 and 44. I'm looking for around 43 on this trade. We'll have to see, of course, how it unfolds. Anything can change in this market and typically does. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for our next Trending Markets. Bye-bye.